for this. But my name is Stephen Bradley. Yes, I am a mayoral candidate. They are trying to block it out and not allow me all the uh, access that other candidates have. I'm going to tell you why. Because we take a holistic approach to all of it. You have my card. Public health is the first thing. That's wrapped into education. Why are our children failing? Because when we sold our Memphis City schools over the shelf at county school, two thirds of the children that's there reading two grades below reading level and math, and we're still passing them through because of no child left behind. Why do they do not have an advocate? Because they gentrify our neighborhoods, they build schools away, and now I got someone that's gotta to go to four different locations that to drop their children off for a quality education. So what are we gonna do about it? We said something about solutions. We're gonna fund our own schools and they're gonna be community-based. What does that look like? They wanna come here and say, hey, we wanna build a charter school. Green Dot, Walmart, and the rest of them. Yeah. No, you're not going way out there, you're going to build it right here in Hollywood. And we want the exact same things Collierville have, technology, iPads, and everything else, because our children are important. Obviously. I'm not going to allow you to get $646,000 to build that school from charter public schools, then turn around and get another $3.5 million from USDA, and I got to push my kids away. And they have no advocate at these locations. What does an advocate look like? An advocate looks like you. You know me, you know my child, so when I'm in school frustrated, you know my circumstance. So it's easy for you to speak to me and say, hold on, principal, don't suspend him. He's having problems at home. This is called restorative justice. We look at it holistically. Before I even think about sending you anywhere, I need to look at your situation, uh -huh. your circumstances, your culture, your upbringing, and everything else to take that in accountability. And my job is to ensure that you get some help. This is intergenerational trauma. This is passed down from parent to the next generation to the next generation. And we never, ever talk about being trauma informed inside of schools. That's how you equip the teachers to deal with the children right now. We also talk about how can we fix, help our children out. How can we save our children? <laughs> she talked 15 minutes, I got three and a half. <laughs> but I say this right here. We have solutions. We have the plan to ensure that we deal with the systemic problems here in Memphis, Tennessee, yes. when it's dealing with education, when it's dealing with trauma, when it's dealing with our children's future, and dealing with our communities. I would love, I come here, I thank Memphis Lip for inviting me, throwing me on that panel. I appreciate being here. But more specifically, I come here to engage with you all. So any questions that you have on your mind, I am a mayoral candidate, you want to know what is your solution to whatever it is. I'm here to answer that question, and if I do not know, I'm honest enough to say, I don't know, let me get back to you. Or oh, let's work it together, and we're going to find out a solution. Never think somebody know everything. My name is Stephen Bradley. I need your support. Thank you. All right. <laughs>